Have you heard the name Jennifer Lopez? I believe it's a familiar one to you. Well, Jennifer has been trying to find true love and it's been many years. Now let's take a look at how many times she's tried to tie the knot. In 1997 to 1998, Jennifer Lopez married Ojani Noah. She was in a relationship with him. It lasted very shortly as you can see. Chris Judd, I don't know if I'm saying the name right, but Jennifer tied the knot with Chris Judd. In between, there was Mark Anthony. Currently, Jennifer is going out with somebody called Alex Rodriguez. Jennifer still believes that there is love out there for her. Now, with all these failed relationships and failed marriages, are you going to blame Jennifer? Probably. The men might say Jennifer has a problem. The women might say the guys have problems. But guess what? Jennifer says, I can't blame anyone in particular. I know I have to find myself. And so in her quest to find herself, she's trying to stick with these relationships and hasn't quit yet. What am I trying to say? Most people just leave relationships when there is one or two issues, one or two consequences. Now, if you are looking for love, trying to find somebody who is going to take care of you, then you might never find it. Especially if you cannot take care of yourself. Before you'll be able to make your relationship work, you need to find yourself, you need to know who you are, be able to love you before you can love another person. It's obvious that Jennifer has been in and out of relationships quite a bit, right? Maybe you or you know somebody who has gone through relationships like this in and out hoping that the next relationship is going to be the best one, the good one, the one that's going to last forever. But unfortunately something might come up and then it also will fail. Here are a few tips and tricks you can put under your sleeve to help your relationships work and last much better. It's necessary that you prioritize each other. Prioritize your husband, your wife, your children. Also communicate how you feel, your plans, your thoughts, your fears and hopes. If you cannot discuss your relationship with the one you love, then it means there's a problem and you both must sit down and figure that out. Communicate. Also, in a relationship, try and make time for yourself. You are probably doing your best to take care of the other, trying to do everything you can to make the other person happy. But your happiness is also very important. Take some time out and do something that you love, especially for you. Whilst you're making time for yourself, also make time for each other. Kids can take over your life if you're not careful. So when you have them, figure out a way you can make time for yourself. Be best friends. Your wife, your husband must be your best friend. You can have all of your other best friends outside of the relationship, but your husband, your wife, best friends for life. Remember never to compare your relationship, your marriage to someone else's. You never know what they're going through. Some people are good at faking. If it's true love, you're going to figure it out one of these days. So you just invest in your relationship and give it the best that you can. Furthermore, throw out all of your expectations and build your relationship and make it work. When your partner offends you, Apologize. You also apologize. Take apologies and build your relationships. Don't dwell on past issues that came up. Forgive, forget, and move on. It's okay to argue here and there every now and then, but don't make argument your food. Don't think of what next you're going to be arguing about. Let your relationship grow, flow. When you have to argue, disagree, never to agree, that's okay. Let it go. Even family members, blood relations, do argue every now and then. Just learn to forgive and move on with your relationship. It's also important to compliment each other. What has the other person done for you that you really appreciate? Little thoughts like, I love the food, I like your clothes, I'm happy that you were smiling today. All of that compliment, it encourages growth in relationships. Sometimes we assume that our spouses should know how we feel. No, they are not mind readers. You have to express exactly how you feel, which also means that enhance your communication skill. It's not all your problems that you have to go out there and share. Be private with your relationship. Work on it until you are unable to and then seek help. Respect for each other also important. Show respect to each other and love is going to flow. You will see this transcend through everything you do. Be thankful for each other. You are made for each other. Work on problems. Work on your challenges. Quitting is not the solution. Remember, the other person you're looking to go find out there 
could even be worse than what you have right now so work on it build it talk to people who can help you and your relationship is going to do well don't forget to enjoy the bread of heaven thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you this is a short one if you like this video kindly go ahead subscribe to my channel also give it a thumbs up and then share i will see you again in my next one same time same place and same space bye